Hello students and welcome to the final video of learning about derivatives of implicitly defined functions. In this video, we're going to be going over an AP calculus problem from 2008. So stay with it. This is the last video of this lesson. Let's get started. So we have this closed cur curve given to us, um, x squared plus 2x plus y to the fourth plus 4y equals 5. Again, the equation of some sort of circle. And I do want to point out that we're not going to be looking at part D in this example, um, but we're going to be showing that first dy dx does come out to be that. And that's going to be the exact same pattern that we've been doing. So let me go part A and then let's start taking that derivative. So I'm going to get 2x. And again, I'm just taking the derivative right there, uh, plus two plus four y cubed and then times dy dx uh, plus four dy dx equals zero. All right, and so we wanna solve for dy dx. So I'm gonna take those dy dx's and, and factor that out. So dy dx um is going to be multiplied by 4y cubed plus 4 and then i want to subtract the 2x plus 2 so minus 2x minus 2 then i'm going to divide out 4y cubed plus 4. Uh, so i'm going to get dy dx is going to be and i'm going to also divide out a negative 2 here so negative 2x plus one over, um, I'm gonna get four here, so four, and I'm gonna get um, times y cubed plus one right there. And so then I get negative two over four, and that simplifies, that'll simplify to be negative x plus one in my numerator, so x plus one in my numerator, over the two, and then the y cubed plus one in my denominator and that's exactly what i want to show uh and now that i have that that value i've i've found that equation so now what i want to do in part b is i want to write an equation for the line tangent to the curve at the point negative two one so remember when you're doing that you you want to find first the point of tangency and the slope of the tangent line so as i find the point uh, tangency and the slope of the tangent line. I'll start here by the slope of the tangent line and that's just going to be okay That's dy dx. And what I want to point out is even if you got part a wrong here Say you got part a incorrect, you know what dy dx should come out to be you can use that in your answer um, Even if you didn't do part a you can still move on and do part b So I want to find the slope of the tangent line and I'm going to use this point negative 2, 1. Uh, that's my point of tangency. So then that's going to be um, negative, negative 2 plus 1 all over 1 half. So 2, um, 1 cubed plus 1. All right, that's looking pretty easy. So I get uh, negative, negative 1 over uh, 2 times 2, which is going to get me one fourth in the end so now i can write the equation this tangent line that's just going to going to be y minus one equals one fourth parentheses x plus two and of course any way you write your equations for tangent lines is going to be possible so just keep that in mind however you write your point of tangency is going to definitely be okay um, sorry, not your point of tangent, see your slope of the tangent line. Any equation for, uh, for a line will be fine here, whether that's y equals mx plus b, point slope form, whatever, um, you can do that here. Now, finally, I'm going to move on to part c, where I'm going to need a little bit more room, and I'm going to find the coordinates of the two points on the curve where the tangent line is vertical. So I, I actually need to write a couple things here. So the first thing that I'm going to write here is that um, a vertical tangent line, you can, you, can, um, you can abbreviate vertical there. That's not um, going to be a problem. So you're going to get a vertical tangent line when 
dy dx is undefined and again you can abbreviate undefined that's acceptable so when is this going to be undefined well that's where that denominator right here and again we didn't need to complete part a because uh, we can just use that equation but we're going to take that denominator we're going to set that equal to zero because that's where it's going to be undefined where we're dividing by zero so i'm going to get two y cubed plus one equals zero so that's going to get me y cubed plus one equals zero again because i just divide by two y cubed equals negative one and then the cube root so y is going to be equal to negative one but i'm not done because it said let's go up and look at this problem real quick it said find the coordinates did i find a coordinate no i just found a single y value so um i also know that there's going to be two points on the curve and again i just found a single y value so i'm going to get the other two points well in order to do that i'm going to uh, substitute into the original problem this y value that i just found so in the original implicit um, function, I'm going to get x squared plus 2x plus negative 1 to the fourth plus 4 times negative 1 equals 5. All right. And so then um, what I'm going to do is I am just going to uh, solve for x here. So I'm going to get, let's see, x squared plus 2x. Uh, that's going to be plus 1 minus 4, so that's going to be minus 3 equals 5. And I'm going to solve this um, by setting this equal to 0 and factoring. So x squared plus 2x um, minus 8 equals 0. So two values that multiply to be negative 8, that combines to be 2. So that's going to be x plus 4 and x minus 2. And I'm going to set both of those equal to 0 and x minus 2 equals 0. And I'm going to solve for x here. So I'm going to get x equals negative 4 and x equals 2. But have I solved for the points? No. All I've found so far are two x values and one y value. Well, I need to just combine it together. And I'm going to say here that the two points are going to be negative 4 comma negative 1 and and it's going to be 2 comma negative 1. Notice that the y values are going to be equivalent, but it's going to be the x values that come out to be different. And if you graph this on your calculator, this is a no calculator question, but if you want to see it and graph it on your calculator, you will know that those values do come out to be vertical tangent lines. They're going to be the side of a circle. Now, I know that implicit differentiation may look unfamiliar but you do need to get that practice time in you need to be very comfortable with it as we move into related rates of course if you do need any help with any of this content please reach out to me i'm mr hernandez and this was mr hernandez teaches